Data Merge is a really helpful tool within Adobe InDesign that allows you to pull data from an Excel list to automate and batch create designs. Today, I'm going to show you how you can take information from a spreadsheet and auto-populate it into your Adobe InDesign project. Let's get started. Imagine you've completed your big client's business card design, and now they want you to create a business card for each of the employees working in their company. First thing you want to do inside Adobe InDesign is identify what fields your design is going to need. In my case, I need name, title, phone, and email. Create a spreadsheet with all of these different tags and make sure the information is formatted exactly how you want it to appear on your design. We're going to go to Save As. And we're going to save this as a comma separated values or a dot CSV. Make sure you manually select the comma separated values dot CSV. If you select the one under common formats, your data merge will not work. Back in Adobe InDesign, you'll want to find your data merge tool. If you don't see your tool, you'll go to Windows, Utilities, Data Merge. Using the hamburger button to the right of the data merge window, you'll want to select your data source. Select the file you just saved as a .csv and hit open. Now you'll see there is four tags here in my document with all the fields that I needed. With the type tool or text tool, you'll want to highlight your fields and select the corresponding tags. Now when I hit this preview checkbox inside my data merge dialog box, I'll be able to see the information automatically come through. Now we need to data merge the image. Back in your data source, we're going to go ahead and start plugging in the paths for the images. We're going to take each path and copy and paste it into our data source. It's time for one of the most important steps in the image merge process. Inside your tag section, you'll want to put an apostrophe at and the word image after that. You'll see that your apostrophe disappears once you hit enter, but if you go back and click on the cell, you'll be able to see that it is still applied. Now we can go ahead and go up to file and save. Back in Adobe InDesign, you'll want to select your hamburger menu once more and select update data source. You'll see an image icon appear next to your image tag and all there's left to do is for you to select your image frame and link it to your tag. Now when I hit preview here, you'll see that I'm getting an error by InDesign saying that my images cannot be located. This is due to the fact that I have my image files in a different folder than my data file. In order to fix this issue, you have to put your data source in the same folder as your image files. The paths that we copied and pasted into our data source are relative paths, meaning that the computer is looking for that path in the same folder. I went ahead and did that. You'll want to select your hamburger menu once more and select update data source. And that is how you data merge a file with text and images together. Now it's time to export your file. You'll want to go once again to your hamburger menu inside your data merge window and select export to PDF from the drop down. The information on this dialog box is typically already default. And the only thing I'm going to do here is hit OK. I'm going to select the different parameters that I want for my output file, such as crop marks, and I want to make sure that my document has bleeds. I'll go ahead and click export. Select a location for my export and hit save. This is just letting me know that there was no overset text once the merge happened. Here we go. Your data merge document with text and an image. Business cards are only one example of how data merge can be beneficial to save time and potential headaches. 
I personally have used data merge to create designs for signs, um, labels, letterheads, and even addresses on custom designed envelopes. Drop any questions that you may have in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. Also, let me know in your comments how you plan to use the data merge tool. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like and make sure you subscribe for more future creative design videos. See you next time and remember to stay creative.